Hello, you beautiful people. Welcome back to the Makeup Loft. Long time no see. I'm excited today. I mean, I'm always excited, but I'm especially excited today because I'm going to be walking you through the lipsticks that I have been wearing nonstop for the past couple of weeks because I'm literally that addicted and I'm a creature of habit. So when I find something that's amazing, I just stick with it for literally the next five months. Without further ado, let me introduce you and walk you through why these lipsticks are amazing and yeah, how to use them. Okay, so if you guys follow me on social media, on Instagram, in particular, you know that I have been talking about this lipstick non-stop for the past week or couple of weeks. So I talked about this lipstick here. It is um, Maybelline's 560 Raw Chocolate Matte Lipstick. I've also used it in another tutorial um, on the Makeup Loss, so you know this is my baby. This lipstick is perfect for my melanin queens, my girls and guys with a darker skin tone, the more olive and deeper complexions. Now of course, this is not a liquid lipstick, it's more of a classic, but I think there's something so simple about going back to the basics and having a really, really good matte lipstick so it doesn't come off when you're eating and drinking. So I'm gonna stop the chit chat for a second and I'll try it on for you guys so you can see what it looks like. So I've just applied a very initial bit of color, but a quick hack. With lipsticks like this, you can't really get the precision on your cupid's bow. So I recommend going in with like a small lip brush because that's just gonna help you nail that precision when you're trying to line your lip. Okay, so a quick tip with overdrawing your lips. There are places that you do want to overdraw and there are places that you don't want to overdraw your lip. You do want to overdraw right underneath the middle part of your bottom lip, but you definitely don't want to overdraw your lips on the outer corner. So you don't want to start drawing outside the line when you're working from the corner of your mouth upwards towards your cupid bow. So the reason why you don't really want to overdraw from the corners here is because that gives you a very duck lip look where you want it to sort of be a very natural Overdraw. You don't want to go too crazy. <laughs> now the other part that you do want to overdraw your lips is right on and above the cupid's bow. And voila! That is how I apply one of my favorite lipsticks. So this is actually the perfect nude for me because nude nudes don't actually turn out nude on my skin. They come out grey or translucent. <laughs> um, but anything with a sort of rusty undertone is just perfect for girls with darker, deeper skin like myself. So if you are like me in any shape or form, then you are going to love this lipstick and I highly recommend you try it out. So let's just have a quick chat about this lipstick here. I have gotten so many compliments on this baby, it's not even funny. It is the perfect color for my skin tone. So it's actually a Superstay Matte Ink, so it's more of a liquid lipstick formula, but it doesn't dry out your lips and it's just very comfortable. Literally smells like a vanilla candle, I'm shook. The color is called Amazonian number 70 and I'm gonna go ahead and try that on. Okay, so what I've done is I've just set aside for a little bit and just let the lipstick dry, do its thing. And I'm back now to tell you that there was a bit of stickiness when I first applied it. When I was going like that, I could feel, you know, just a slight stickiness, but that has subsided and the lipstick just feels quite comfortable on the lips. The transfer is nil, but it still doesn't completely dehydrate your lips. <laughs> and I know that's just going to be super useful for me when I'm eating and drinking and I still want to look good and I don't want to have to reapply my lipstick a thousand times. <laughs> that's pretty much all I have for you. I really just wanted to review the two lipsticks in my life at the moment and the only thing I will use just in case that these products are all you've been looking for and I've now blessed you with this new information. <laughs> do let me know if you do try these, either of them, the 560 and the Superstay Matte Ink in Amazonian because I just want to get your opinions as well. Let me know how it works for you, if it matches your skin color, if it's too dark, too light. Let me know and I'd just love to hear your feedback. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much you guys for watching. Before you do anything else, make sure you hit that subscribe button to the Makeup Loft so you can stay up to date with my content. I've got some more very, very exciting videos coming your way. Thanks so much you guys. Have a good day. Bye.